Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I am going to explain in detail about the arcade phase 2. I hope you guys already claim your swags of arcade phase 1. So in this video I am going to tell you about how this arcade phase 2 is going to happen. Before that let me explain you what is happening in the arcade phase 1. If you have performed the labs of your arcade phase 1 you understand that for every month or you can say for 10 to 15 days or for 7 days they have come in with the arcade games okay if we just simply come back to the arcade page you can see if you just simply scroll down these games i am talking about this game so what was happening in the arcade phase one team has launching the arcade games for seven days timeline or you can say 15 and if you notice for the ending of this arcade phase one they have launched the game for almost one month okay now once you completed level one level two and trivia you have the three point and this is continuing till april month in april month they have come up with the new thing that called arcade facilitator now let me explain you and differentiate this arcade facilitator and arcade games both are the different program but they came under the arcade event so make sure that arcade games and arcade facilitator is a different thing okay but they are the part of the arcade event and make sure that for both the swags are similar those are not different okay now what happening in the april month they have come with the arcade facilitator thing where we have to fill some form and we have to complete a skill badges and after completing the skill badges we are going to get the points how many points we are going to get after completing a three skill badges we are getting one point okay and that arcade facilitator program is for only two months Okay, and this was the first their try and error method and because this arcade facilitator launched between that arcade event and because of that lots of chaos happened over there. If you notice that we are having a lots of confusion like do we have to create a new account, will this credit and monthly subscription going to happen or not. Okay, and because of that they have come with the new idea in this arcade phase 2. Okay, now I will explain in detail how this arcade phase 2 going to happen. Okay, now all the information that I am going to share with you now, it's not made by me. It's from the officials and you can trust on this and in this way, this arcade phase to going to happen. If there any changes will occur, then I will let you know. Now in arcade phase 2, they have come up with a new strategy called cohort. Okay, now what is cohort? Cohort is a time limitation event which is going to happen for two months. It's not mentioned over there how many times this cohort will be happen. It might be two times, three times or more than that. Now the first thing that what going to happen, first of all team will reach out to the current facilitator. They will share one form link with them and they will ask them that are you guys interested to be a facilitator for this next event. If they fill that form then they will become a facilitator for the next event. Now if you are new and you want to be a facilitator for next event then what you can do you can reach out to the facilitator and then you can tell them otherwise i will share one form link in the description box just simply fill that form and then you will get the mail from the team to become a facilitator okay and once the arcade registration form has been closed after a couple of days for us the normal form will be open where we have to give the basic details for like first name last name username public profile url and one more thing is that the unique access key of arcade facilitator okay if you don't give that key then you are not a part of the arcade facilitator event just make sure of that if i just simply come back over here you can see this timer okay and once the timer will be end after that one form will be open we have to just simply fill that form do not worry about that i will explain in step by step manner how to fill that form i will make a separate video for that okay for now just create a one fresh email id and just create your account of your cloud skill boost account okay just do this for now I'm going to explain you how this point system is going to work. If you just scroll down and here you can see milestone 1, milestone 2, milestone 3 and ultimate milestone. For completing a milestone 1 what you have to do, you have to complete 2 games, 1 trivia and 9 skill badges. And once you complete these 3 requirement then you will get a 2 bonus point as a milestone 1 completion. Okay and as you can know the cohort 1 only available for only 2 months. If you just simply come back to the calendar you can see for July and August month. For this 2 month the cohort 1 will be available. Now they haven't mentioned that will the cohen 2 and cohen 3 will be come or not if that come then the point system for those will be same okay now if we just simply come back to the arcade page you can see level 1 and level 2 are still coming soon no need to worry about that both the game will be live 
to night for sure and make sure that the time limitation for these two games will be one month okay now once you complete a level one level two and trivia then what you have to do you have to just simply focus on completing the skill badges the more amount of skill badges you will complete then the number of milestone points and the more bonus point will you will be get okay now for example if you complete the 15 skill badges okay as you can see for milestone 2 we have to complete two games one trivia and 15 skill badges and once we complete the 15 skill badges then we will consider as a milestone 2 and we will get the four bonus point okay now if you're thinking like okay i have completed a milestone one i have completed a milestone two that means the total amount of arcade points i have is 20 no it is not going to work like that for example if i earn the milestone two then only it is going to consider as a 12 point Okay, if you read this point, they have mentioned that you will receive the point for the milestone that you have earned now, not the previous one. Okay, so if you're thinking like, okay, this 12 and this 8, it will be converted as a 20. No, it is not going to work like that. One more thing, guys. For example, if you have completed the 12 skill badges, okay, then it will consider as a milestone 1. Okay, the reason is behind that for be a milestone 2, you have to complete minimum 15 skill badges. Okay, so let's assume that you have completed 12 skill badges, then your arcade point will be 9. Why? Because 3 skill badges equal to 1 point and if you divide 12 into 3, then you will get a 4 point. So that's the reason you will get a 9 arcade point. Now if you just only come on the milestone 3, you can see here you have to complete 4 games. Now the two games will be launched in two second month and one trivia also launched in the next month. Make sure of that and you have to complete 21 skill badges to be a part as a milestone 3 and once you complete all these three requirements then you will get the 6 bonus point and the total arcade point that you have is 90. Okay, now for the ultimate milestone you have to complete 30 skill badges if you're thinking like completing a 30 skill badge is very tough no need to worry about that i already make a one google sheet for that where i have shared the all the easy and simple way to complete the skill badges for you i will share the link in the description box you can just simply bookmark that and in future i will update this sheet for sure okay and now once you complete the ultimate milestone then you will get a minimum 25 points now if you want to get more points then you can just simply complete a more skill badges and by completing a more skill badges then you will earn a more point i hope this point system will be clear for you now if you still have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section and make sure that you have to complete all the skill badges between these two months so make sure of that thing as well now i will answer some of your question that you guys ask me on the my post okay now the first question that you guys ask me that do we need a new email id for this arcade phase 2 okay now hear me out for example if you are only participating for arcade games okay only for that you don't need the new email id why because after completing this arcade level 1 level 2 and trivia you will get these badges and these badges are unique so you don't need a new email id but if you are participating in the arcade facilitator i hope i am clear over here now what is the difference between this arcade facilitator and arcade games once we complete all this level 1 with that you try to complete a skill badges that came under the arcade facilitator and if you notice in previous event you already earned some amount of skill badges and those skill badges are not going to give the point for this event so if you are participating in the arcade facilitator that time you have to create a new email id but if you are only concentrating on this only arcade games that time you don't have to create a new email id i hope i am clear over here but you will get some amount of point and you will get some decent swags as well okay the second question that you guys asked me do we need a credit or monthly subscription you can use anything for completing the skill badges or games first of all the games are free but for completing the skill badges you need the credits for that you can use your own credit or you can simply search on youtube like for example if you just simply come back over here and just simply search for the monthly quick lab subscription 
if you just simply search over here you can see this my video if you just watch this video you will get a monthly subscription and with that monthly subscription you can complete your skill badges as well now the third question that you guys have like is this necessary to be a part of any facilitator yes it's mandatory that you have to be under any facilitator otherwise that bonus point will not going to count make sure of that you have to fill any of them fast facilitator form otherwise that bonus point will not count if anyone saying that you can do it alone no you have to be a part of facilitator if you want to get that bonus point okay just make sure of that thing now the fourth doubt you guys asked me that is arcade games and arcade facilitator swags are different no both arcade games and arcade facilitator swags are same you have to just earn points and after earning that point you can claim your swags now the fifth question that you guys asked me that can we use a multiple accounts yes you can use a multiple accounts if you have the time but make sure that do not give the same email id to the different facilitator otherwise it will consider as a duplication and you will be disqualified so just make sure that if you are using a multiple account so use a different email id for different facilitator okay i hope you found this video informative you can share your thoughts in the comment section if you still have any doubts please let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys